what a beautiful day we have today. This does not feel like October weather, but I'll tell you what, it is definitely 40 yard stroll weather since we're outside. Might as well get that sunshine while we can. Waiting on Greg Van Roten and then we'll get cracking. Welcome to another edition of the 40 yard stroll presented by the New Jersey Lottery, this time with Greg Van Roten. Greg, thanks a lot for joining me. Thanks for having me. All right, let's see, let's get going. So before you hopped on here, I was listening to some country music. I feel like you might be a big country guy. Is that is that fair to say? Uh, it's unfair. I'm definitely not a country uh, okay. guy. <laughs> okay. Okay. More of a rock so and roll guy. All right, I respect it. Who are your favorite bands, or what are your favorite bands? Should I say? My favorite band is definitely like Led Zeppelin. Okay. And then a little more contemporary. Um, you know, I was a big Weezer fan growing up. And is that uh, is that your pregame playlist, a little rock and roll, or what's the pregame music like that? Yeah, pregame's more like uh, Rage Against the Machine, Audio Slave, you know, a little bit harder, Queens of the Stone Age, stuff more in that vein of rock music. Okay, that's fair enough. You know, I, I, the only reason why I was asking about uh, country is because you got kind of the Luke Combs look, you know, the long yeah. beard. So I you know who that is, done, right? Really. This, is, this is just, I haven't had a haircut in a long time. <laughs> okay. Have you gotten a haircut in quarantine? I got one. I probably had two haircuts since February. Wow, okay. Respect that. I, yeah. I think I've had two as well since February. So we're on the same page here. So you're a rock and roll guy, not really a country guy, but you're definitely a steak guy based on your Instagram. Yes, I do love a nice piece of red meat. Uh, and what is your favorite cut of red meat? Uh, I like the ribeyes, you know, the nice fat. Yeah, you're meat. speaking my language. A lot of flavor in those, uh, good marbling. All right, if you, want, if you want to go more upscale, you're going Wagyu, I love it. So what is the m most common misconception or maybe like a little steak tip that you have if you're grilling? Because right now we're in October, but look at this weather. I know you're yeah. inside, but this weather is unreal. So I'm a big fan of the reverse sear technique. Yes. So I have a green egg at home. I love like grilling on that. So you just kind of bake it and then you get it real hot at the end and you sear it. And then another thing I like to do, which is kind of, I guess, if you're a grill guy, this is like blasphemous, but I have a sous vide. <laughs> which is like you put yeah. it in that, the, the thermometer and the water heats it up and it cooks like perfectly, but just takes a long time. But I love that thing too. Wow. So you're, you're like, you're old school with the grill, but you're modern day with the sous vide. A little it bit just of depends on, because the sous vide, you just set it and you can walk away for an hour. The grill, you got to like, it's a whole process. It just depends on how much time I have. And if you were not an NFL player, would the grill be open 24, uh, or I guess really 365 days a year, not 24 seven, but would it be yeah. open all year round? I mean, it is anyway. You could grill in any weather, you know. I, I, I was just more of a time. It was more of a time consumption. Yeah, but I mean, you know, you go inside if it gets too cold. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I like the way you think, Greg. Spoken like a true Long Island native. So, you know, I, I'm just curious before I ask you what your anything can happen moment. As somebody that grew up on Long Island, you go to Penn. What's it like at Penn? At being one of few Penn football players in the NFL, is that like a kind of a special fraternity there? Yeah, there's just a few of us. Um, actually, now we got a couple guys in the league. So it's pretty cool um, for us and for this college just to be able to go back and talk to those guys and kind of show them that, like, you can have a great great education and you could play in the NFL if you are, you know, willing to put in the work and you're good enough. Is that a must for two Penn players to jersey swap, even if you didn't cross over at school? Well, this year you can't really jersey swap, but we're definitely taking, you know, socially distanced pictures. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, Greg, what's your anything can happen moment? Uh, I think just that, you know, if you're willing to put in the time and the work, anything can happen. Like I was an undrafted free agent and I was in and out of the league and now I've been starting the last couple of years playing for my hometown team. I love it. All right, Greg, appreciate the time. That was a 40-yard troll presented by the New Jersey Lottery. I'm going to go make myself a ribeye now. I'm yeah, not yeah, back yeah. there. Not not, yeah. not back there. I can't do anything back there. <laughs> but I'm going to go that way and make myself a ribeye. Sounds good, bud. <laughs> 